So hi dear Pisces, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. And second thing, this is a reading from 1st till the 10th of December for those who are completely single right now at this present moment and wants to know what's coming towards them in love. Okay, so let's start honey. So please keep in mind it, uh, it might not resonate. It's very important to know. So let's start with your current energies right now at this present moment. Let's see. We have the strength, the nine of wands, the seven of swords. You're lying to yourself, Pisces. I'm over a situation. I'm over a person. Somebody betrayed me in the past and I'm over that now. I'm completely okay. So if somebody betrayed you in the past for whatever reason, whatever, like cheating, manipulation, games, lies, whatever, whatever it was, you, you left that person, you left that energy, okay? It took you a lot of courage, a lot of strength to leave this situation, to uh, get out of that situation physically. And now you're telling me, okay, I left that situation long time ago and I'm not uh, even like, I am not bothered about that now. I'm, I don't care what they are up to. I don't care what the, this person is up to. Might be. But you are still not over the betrayal. You are still carrying around the betrayal within yourself. Although you are trying uh, your best to let go of that betrayal kind of energy, the residual healing kind of energy is still there that needs to be healed properly, that needs to be released properly because it's like, Let's say uh, I had some kind of uh, like uh, somebody cheated on me, let's say in 2010. Although I'm over the bitter, over that person, I, I completely forgive them and I am com I completely forgot what happened with me. But still, whenever I'm in a new connection, I always fear somebody is going to betray me. Somebody is going to cheat on me. Somebody is going to definitely cheat on me again because I had this experience in the past. I don't want that experience back in my life. I don't want, we don't, universe doesn't listen to don't. I want betrayal, I want deceptiveness, I want uh, manipulator. That is what is happening. What you don't want in love and relationship is coming back to you again and again in circles because you are so much in this energy of I don't want this, I don't want this, oh god, I don't want this and that is happening, right? Yeah. Let's see who's coming towards you in love till the 10th of December, Pisces. We have the Three of Swords, the Fool card and the Higher of Fire. Wow. Eight of Cups. Okay, the person who's coming next in your life is somebody who's walking away from a hurt, like from a painful kind of energy, breakup, separation. Someone is coming out of a fresh breakup, fresh, fresh kind of separation and fresh kind of this heartbreak, heartbreak. And this person is somebody who's going to straight away jump into this energy of I want to get married. I want commitment. I want long-term partnership. I want someone to be with me forever for my lifetime. Because I'm so hurt, I can never go back to the same person or same energy back. So, and I can't uh, like play with uh, 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 like energies anymore. All I want right now is marriage, commitment, long-term partnership. So beware of this kind of energy, Pisces, because this person is not coming towards you with this intention of love and relationship. This person is coming towards you with this intention of that Pisces is going to take all my pain they are going to convert my pain into a marriage and commitment and we guys are going to be together uh, forever. There's no love in this situation. There's nothing that's uh, like, a, uh, like a soulmate kind of dynamic. Might be you guys are going to connect with each other because of the same pain or the frequency of pain that you guys are going through. You will be able to understand this person's point of view very beautifully. But this person is going to ask for commitment too quickly that it's going to make you feel uncomfortable and you might end up Ghosting this person or saying no to them or the vice versa. So a painful kind of person, a painful kind of energy is about to enter in your life and it's going to give you this kind of energy of I want to be with you forever. Where's the love? Where's the intimacy? Where's the connection? Where is the soulmate kind of dynamic? There's nothing like that. So if somebody's kind of forcing you to be with them forever or you are the one who's trying to force somebody to be with you forever, this is not a healthy kind of energy. This is not a healthy kind of dynamic. It's uh, wanting something too quickly and uh, ending up in disaster. So watch out for this kind of energies. If you are ready to take it slow, if you are ready to help themselves and yourself to come out of a painful situation without having this expectation of this person is going to heal me, this person is going to give me something. It's very difficult, right? But this is the only solution here. If you are ready for them to be a, just a friend and help them to move on, without having any kind of that kind of expectation then might be this situation can turn into something beautiful otherwise just wait 
don't uh, entertain this energy then if you are not ready for that kind of dynamic yeah let's see the guidance for you guys Pisces we have the ten of swords the death oh, yeah heal yourself honey properly heal yourself from every pain every hurt every betrayal every deceptive energy that you're carrying around without you even acknowledging that they are there they are there they are there ten of swords and that uh, like death card together is telling you're still going through a very very painful kind of experience of your life that you're not able to let go even if you're trying your best you're like i have done everything that i could to let it go you haven't tried self-love self-care self-healing you haven't tried acknowledging the pain face to face and heading towards it like okay hurt me as much as you can because i'm ready to get hurt now see you might have tried everything but you might not be consistent or for some time you felt like okay i'm over this i'm completely fine now then you stopped working on it and then it came back so work on yourself you're healing very very important once you are going to be completely healed then only you will be able to attract that kind of people and situations around you honey so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Pisces, God bless you.